<laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? Bang. Guess who came to visit? Shark Nivko. Hey guys. Hi Two guys. brothers. Got my brother right here. You too. could see this little fella. It's been a star on Terra Fanatic channel for a, what was it, a good couple of days or two yeah, weeks? Yeah, he got it for like a month. Oh, he went crazy about it. He went raving about it. <laughs> and you know what's funny? I gotta be honest, like, it's one of those nights that you see it and it's like, that, that's interesting. But it's like, it kind of ends with that, like, you know, you can't give too much credit, you know? <laughs> but it's like, it's interesting, right? And you kind of like shake your head, like, why Mike went so crazy about it? Like, what? What was the, all the hype about like when he was flipping it and it was he was really ecstatic about it like now when i got a couple of them here you know and got to play with them i can really see it why it there is something about that knife that it makes it really cool and interesting and just the way it flips it's just different it's a, it would be actually ideal knife for me to carry this after i do work on like two three of my flippers because my my this flipping finger is completely <laughs> messed up and also it's two things I don't know if it's it's probably different with you but this flipping finger completely messed up from flipping the unfinished flippers it's horrible like it's often is actually cut from just from flipping a knife you know just from the right angles and the thumb here from disengaging the rough when it's not shaped and contoured oh, yeah. so those two areas of the fingers completely like really messed up and this knife being so different, it actually disengages a little differently, just a different area of my thumb than my knives, and flips completely different. It would be actually an ideal knife for me to carry, because I could actually enjoy this. <laughs> there is, it's really, really cool, the way it flips, and I really like this one, the one that Mike has, because it's so, like, worn in already, and so easy that I don't have to flip it, I can actually kind of, like, elegantly open it. The other ones are much more snappier. Oh, we have a little knife show here. So you can see we are admiring Jeb's work, Elliot's work, Kylie's work, everybody. Yeah, this one, this one is really sloppy. I kind of like this. Really, you can kind of hear it, I think. But I can really just open it elegantly like the other one. But it's, it's really snappy. He's been trying to perfect this crazy triple compound or four compound actually. What is it? So you have one hollow, two, one hollow, two hollow, flat front and a flat switch. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> I will want to kind of try to perfect that. It's, that's a pretty tall order to feel. It's a hard one. My personal favorite? He's always he's loved it. Yeah. His first one, because it's nice and flat grind. It's, it's a little different. He kind of changed the design since then. Uh, just not design. He changed the way the, the he way put they, it together. They, yeah. The backspacer and the screws he used. He kind of got more little more space there. The, this uh, the hog is actually part of the backspace and now, so his blade is a little longer. I like it. It actually, you know what it reminds me? Did anybody ever tell you? It reminds me like a uh, evil or like a uh, little devil for some reason like that. It has a little thing oh, sticking yeah. out and little tail. <laughs> it looks like a two like horns here and it has that like a yeah, evil evil tail. Yeah, evil yeah, tail. Yeah. Yeah, when right. it's closed it kind of reminds... Anybody ever said yeah, that? No, never, no? never. First time. It has an evil shape. <laughs> Certainly cool stuff, man. What you said, you use S35 normal? S35 and S35, yeah. By the way, for the people who are wondering, yeah, that is the heat, the temper scale on the knife. So he grinds it and then you grind it before heat treat or you heat treat uh, it, grind it, then temper it? Uh, temper it and then grind it and then final Second temper, temper. okay, yeah, yeah. So between the tempers he grinds it and then the last temper is actually what leaves that cool Kind of like it's actually very close to the copper color. It is copper. I would say copper, look at, look bronze. It's copper and copper. It's really yeah. Close. Yeah, it's it's kind of like between the copper and bronze shade of a. Uh, very close to the copper. Pretty cool. Nice thing is you said it's 500 degrees temper. 600. That's 600. That's good, man. That's that's really high. You could grind the crap out of this even without the water cooling, actually, with that high temper. So he's doing in-house heat treatment. This is a full zirk. Now I gotta admit, this is pretty clever. Now full zirk frame. It's something what you don't often see because zirconium is softer than titanium. Bah, right? Obviously. But check that out. He actually did like a whole titanium insert here, all the way from here, all the way to the back, because he wanted to utilize the titanium the springiness spring. of titanium. So it actually goes. It's actually in set and. He doesn't have a mill. He didn't have a mill until now. So all this is done with the grinder, drill press, drill press and a bandsaw. What? And a bandsaw. Bandsaw. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty.
pretty intense and he does he did cut until he still cuts all the lock lock bars too yeah so pretty cool so that it's really mad respect for doing that little titanium insert there i think it's that's pretty freaking cool so that's the two screws that holds it in place here and the third one yep. up here just to it. tie it all together and you couldn't even tell really like that the connection here is like no you can actually know because it's not shown here yeah it's actually inside sorry yep. my bad you can kind of see it here a little bit on the leaf cut really cool this and the new one is kind of what was it he said it's and it's true it's almost like a like an alligator skin the belly of a gator it has the similar kind of like a pattern and it's pretty cool refreshing new thing to see very unobtrusive it just you could just kind of visible you can't even hardly tell that there is a radius and it's so pretty nice job on that Carlos pivot Carlos alpha knife supply pivots and one of the things what what I learned today and made with his help today you screw already. I did the pivot color. <laughs> what? You screw now because everybody wants it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna just you do gotta, it like sometimes. Gotta, when I feel crazy and I have to do this magic stuff, what? If the camera would want to focus. We did black, black tie, uh, black tie mascus, little pilot, uh, ca pivot color. It's, I still use my awesome 8 inch pivots. <laughs> Say what you want. My telescopic pivots. <laughs> That's all you need on a knife, especially on a knife like my knives. I mean, it doesn't even. Okay, if I use any bigger pivot, I couldn't even do with the color. So I mean, I like it wouldn't fit it. there. I, it's I think perfect. It looks good, man. I, think... I like it. It's actually yeah, barely it... now. I I just have like just enough space here to, for my like kind of no, typical I... uh, index finger relief here, and uh, the front. I always shave the front side, so it's actually gonna be pretty close. It should no, come out pretty it's cool. Perfect, it's perfect. When I get more parts from what it actually should be here any day now. What else here? Now we talk about Look everything. This, yeah. like this a little bit kind of like eh, like a natural or rock pattern or do you have any other name for this? Ah, somebody call it like shark skin. <laughs> it's not it's really. a good looking one, I like this. Yeah. It's not clean though, but it's kinda of blue, really good nice blue. I like it. And you said you do everything so with far with torch. just heat, torch, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a tricky, it's a tricky you thing to do with get these colors, really tricky because sometimes you get purple out of the bronze. It's like yeah. a mix between it's the a, It's a mix because right after yeah. the bronze you have yeah. that. It's, so you the, have to hit it really it's like on the electro machine when I do the 16.6, .6, it's like right at the edge of it. It's I, I personally like it because it's a mix between when you clean it, just with the yeah. index, actual, it, you get the hints of purple and right. the bronze, so right. it's kind of cool. But That's when you when you get the, your oil from the hands, it just turns into like bronze. like dark bronze or something. I want to like get like a really yellow, rich bronze too, but it's kind of risky. I don't I don't <laughs> want to go because it always get messed up, you know. But yeah, so far so good. Like I work whatever I got. You know. It's kind of cool. You just need the good blasting coming in now. I need a That's good blasting. That's gonna help you even if I got my first like put like a meal on the way, so everything's gonna be fine. And the cool mist. Yeah. Right. Oh, cool Tell man. everybody if you how awesome this guy is, cool is sickness. He won't now. I have to buy a cool mist. So the guys for the people who oh I don't need cool mist because you know uh, uh, I think it's you awesome. know I think I, it's I'm fine thing with that. dipping and everything. You really have no idea how much of an improvement for your knife making it is. It's just for your comfort, the guarantee of overheating, just speed you don't have of to grinding. As much. It really is. I mean, he's seen it first, and now and many people that been here seen it. It really is. Uh, you just cannot say that you don't need it or it wouldn't help you. It would help you so the much. The only bad no thing idea. about it is like the loudness of the, the compressor. I mean, the air compressor. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But if you can hide it on the back somewhere, man, that thing is. I don't want to leave it here. Yeah, that's like you can't do that with you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't no, want to. I hope it doesn't make any neighbors mad. We need to put a silence, a silence into it or something. If you have like a shed or something, yeah, you like put in the shed somewhere outside and just run the hose, air hose from yeah. it, yeah. Maybe, I'm just used to it, it's just, because most of the time when that thing is running, you know, I'm grinding in the in the grinding room, so it's, I mean you hear it, but Doesn't there is so it. much noise from the machine, from the air compressor, sometimes the stone wash, that I'm used to it. 
<laughs> you hate stone noise. I, I do, I do, it's really annoying sound, but it's like I said, it's most of the time when that thing is running, that means I'm grinding something else over there. Yeah, because that thing is like, it's a nightmare or something. I have that original box, actually I did turn that original box where it came in, I put that uh, styrofoam thing on the top, and ju even just that, when you put over it, I'm just too lazy to do it, but even that piece, the box, when you put over it, it actually gets really quiet, it's significantly quieter. Just by putting the box on, it actually gets significantly quieter even if just putting you, the lid, lid on. on yeah, yeah, but I'm that's really too late. Yeah. It's so much work because it's not like you don't just screw the thread on like you know a couple times. Yeah, but you have to that spin is, that thing for like, for two, like two minutes. minutes yeah. to yeah. <laughs> You're so much thread and rock there. It just takes you forever. And sometimes that's the thing. Like when you're doing the solos, you just want to kind of check on things, so you just grab it, look at it, and throw it back in. <laughs> you don't want to unscrew and screw it every time. So that's why. No, that's why I got like a foam lid. I on. do want somebody said, and I know that actually the professional tumblers are the the rotary tumblers. The rotary ones. I need to get one of the small ones from Harbor Freight and see like on the folder. Oh, but that's a miniature, like, like, like. Yeah, but the, for the folder, that's all you need really. I just need to see if it actually is better. You I mean, saw JB cool. Blount, he put like a. Cooler. Yeah, he, I seen the yeah, video on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, he has like a ro like a little like a railroad. Like cooler, like that a cooler with cool. the uh, yeah. That's that kind of cool. cool. The other thing that I want to do is like, you know, like get the, uh, the surface grind. The surface grind, but the one is like uh, the disc. The double disc grinder, yeah, I think they call it. Yeah, you put that thing on it and yeah. it spins on the con I guess they're expensive, right? Okay. Uh, I'm get, I already have the order for that. I did. Oh, the, you're I, gonna do the attachment? Yeah, I, I placed the order and I'm that? gonna. It's with all the like bells and whistles. The I'm getting a longer, longer magnetic bar. But because I want to use it not just the surface grinder, but you can another good feature, another reason why I want it for the big choppers. You can actually use it like a jig. Okay. You put the blade there, you, you angle it, an angle and you and go just back and forth. You actually grind, so I don't have to hold this, you know, Look four pound piece of steel. Freaking, how many and hours grind. grinding that thing, man? <laughs> yeah. And so that, and it's with all the bells and whistles. So the longer, longer longer magnetic base it has that adjustment tool like that thing that makes it that you can do the bevels it has the like a gauge so you actually don't you know have to how, check how with the caliper it actually yeah. you measures exactly how much material did you take off it's like a mechanic gauge or something like that and uh, it comes with actually another whole wheel another the, 8 inch the wheel the magnetic is like electric or is it just magnetic? I think it's regular magnetic yeah regular that's, not, magnetic. that's not really useful because all the steel is gonna stick to it and then you try to clean it it's a mess so no really nice it's not like that you need you do want to have you, I do have to get the demagnetizer it would the same thing would happen if you do the if you would do it if it was yeah, electric yeah. because when even if you do electric you magnet in that magnetic. you turn it on that still gets magnetized regardless even when you turn the magnetic off it's just a matter of how you're gonna clean it and those magnets are special way they one by one you can easily vacuum okay vacuum the the steel between it it makes that strength the crazy strength of it is when they are connected, they're connected. it's just yeah. like you're you know you use the the, 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 the contact magnet it's the, the same thing one by itself is so not a big no, deal, but we kind of argue them together, that's when it's strong. Okay. It's the same thing with it, but you still want to have, I mean, especially for the folders, I do want to have the demagnetizing tool, because you you don't want to magnetize steel, you want to throw it in that thing. You don't want I to, heard to it's like, grow the freaking hair everywhere. It's, yeah, I heard it's like it. 200 bucks, the really it's good, good uh, demag demagnetizing tool that you... You didn't tell me how much was the grind. Oh, it's like, it's two grand with all the buzz and whistles, it's close to two grand. I will get. I think. I think in the two grand price uh, price estimate, With I will that get. Price, the, you get the other one it's like it's less, but you're getting also a whole another eight inch reel for that. Oh really? Eight inch reel wheel with the arm, so you don't have to do that because it's gonna be like almost like one setup. I know his bearings are inside of the reel or something like that, and I, I was trying to build myself one because those wheels are. He uses the beta wheels for yeah. everything. I think it's the same. I think the big wheels are pretty much same on every grinder uh, manufacturer. I think those big wheels are same, like across the board. Like all of them, they use the same thing. The small wheels are the difference. Yeah. The small wheels on his have the bearings inside. Right. The other ones, like a tag wheel on, it's, it's the outside the biggest, kind yeah. of like a roller skate bearings. That's the they one last one longer. Said. They last longer. The thing about the they all have advantages, like the bearings on the outside, bigger bearings. They last yeah. longer. They're more sturdier. 
and uh, readily uh, you can just replace the bearing if it goes bad. You can buy just Those, the roller, the roller skid ones. I have that. Right yeah, here. exactly. The advantage of the one like I have, the beta wheels, you can actually, you know, like imagine that you have the big bearing on the outside. Yeah. On the other one, it's inch. Yeah. So you cannot really get to the that's anything that's the lower than inch. That you have. cannot really yeah. access it if you need because it in certain angles. You just had like limitations. You only had two inches of surface, and that's yeah, it. exactly. Uh -huh. On that, you can actually yeah, like you if you put the half inch it. wheel there. You can yeah, access like you the can whole. You can make like a freaking groove in the knife or something exactly. without. Yeah. Mine is like impossible. Yeah, on that you can because you have actually you have access. Yeah. There's nothing, no obstructions on the side of it. Like I said, advantage is advantage, but you cannot run it too quick. You know that you have to kind of run it slow because those bearings are just not made to run the with standard pressure the smaller, from the belt. The, the small, the, the less uh, speed they have. To yeah, use. exactly. It's, it's a combination of that speed and uh, I mean you have certain pressure on it, always constantly pressing that belt. So it's that. But I mean. That's the cause. I, mean, I broke so many of those little really? the half inch wheels because I did the rock pattern on the big choppers like this, so you're grinding into the hardened steel and everything, and it kick, <laughs> kicks ass on those bearings. I, I'm like on the what, third set. Yeah, uh, yeah they are wheel? fifty bucks. Yeah, fifty bucks yeah. a piece. I'm have... on the third set of the the small half inch wheel and second set of a one inch wheel. I don't have the uh, too many wheels. I only have uh, three quarters. That's yeah. what I use. I use one inch a lot. It's very because I, you know one inch is radius on my finger chop, so that's what I use a lot. I use lot. here three quarters and three quarters, yeah. Yeah, that's but the you only wheel I have. It's uh, it's something. I mean, you know, I make that's that. Yeah, that's why those knives are so expensive. <laughs> yeah, that's the cost that people don't even like realize really, but that's actual. That's the reality. <laughs> Man. It gets great that you guys stop, but it's fun to like hang out with nice people again. I don't get to do it that often lately. No, it's just so working and relaxing, working and relaxing. And even my relax is active relax, like go kayaking or shooting or, or fishing. <laughs> Fishing's been fun. Fishing is really relaxing lately. Yeah, I see you're getting free meals now. <laughs> 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 no, not really. I, most of the fish I let go back, it's just like the big, big catfish. I took that one and I took the first, first one when it was too deep. I don't really like, I don't have the need to kill it it's just just so I can eat it. It's just relax, let it back in, try to stress it as less as possible. That's pretty cool, man. And knowing that if something happens, I can go there and get that food if I ever need to. <laughs> if I don't sell enough knives and I will be starving, I can go fishing. <laughs> That's not gonna happen, but whatever. You never know. You never know. You never know. No, you gotta, gonna some get shark, you. Some shark Nifko comes by and all my customers <laughs> will jump to him. <laughs> I hey. wish, I wish. Guys, I hope you enjoyed a little rambling. I mean, you got to really just watch on the table full of knives and just us talking. But there were some tips I think you guys can pick up for knife makers. I mean, look at that guy. He's been making knives. Folders for you said four months, which is yeah. pretty freaking insane and makes me a little angry. Because my <laughs> four months, uh, I mean, they started getting decent at four months, but still, I mean, they, I mean, if I look at knives like three months ago, I sometimes I still cringe. So <laughs> he's on, he certainly is on a really, really good path. So, guys, definitely check him out. Instagram Shark Nivko, you have the YouTube channel too, I'll try to probably put the... Yeah, I'll, I, think I, I don't I, forget I, I think I lost my password on that. Oh, indeed, you didn't put the video on. <laughs> I, I, forgot, I forgot how to use it, right? I went into Instagram, I think. Uh, everything is Instagram now. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed a little rambling. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut, cut yourself. yourself. <laughs>